Hi everyone! So today I decided to make a video about this um, watercolor, uh, sorry, the color coloring book that I have purchased in HomeSense a while ago. And I like going there for art supplies sometimes because they do, um, they sell certain things that aren't available anymore and you can buy them for cheaper prices and so this is the coloring book its publisher is Hamlin I hope that can you can see that and it's called coloring for mindfulness vintage 50 designs to help you distress now um, it's very hard for me to this is where I actually ripped out the page. It's hard for me to color in this book as it is, you know, it doesn't stay flat. And so I would have to constantly hold it down to be able to do that. I find that quite annoying. So basically I ripped it out and I think I should have cut it and it would have been better. But I will quickly flick through. These are, I quite like these houses. These are the designs that you can color in. Look at this one. It's gorgeous. You have cupcakes and flowers and little birds. It's like a tea party, summer tea party. And more cupcakes. So yeah, have a look if it's still available. Either at your home sense or anywhere else. This one was quite nice, I just saw it as well, quite whimsical. So that's what you get basically. And I was particularly interested in this design because I thought it would be, the, the flowers are quite bold and biggish. And so I thought it'd be great for you to see the um, Dervant ink tans watercolor pencils or they're actually called ink tans water soluble ink pencils so they're more intense than the watercolor pencils that i have featured in my previous video in the strawberry sketch so i could maybe just remind you quickly i just need to think where it was that strawberry thing okay so the previous video was about the strawberry and I was talking about the um, Derwent watercolor pencils and saying how I couldn't get an intense color in the uh, just using watercolor pencils okay so as a comparison I thought I will show you my Derwent as I just said intense water soluble ink pencil sorry this video is a bit disorganized so far a little bit and um, as you can see the color is very vibrant now i have turned this um, sketchbook this way so you could see the full um, design but if i turn it that way hopefully you can read the names of the swatches there we go i could maybe zoom them in We'll just bring them in closer. So these are the colors I have used. Cadmium yellow, Sicilian yellow, golden yellow, Sienna gold, burnt orange, fuchsia, felt green and fern. And have a look at the brightness of these colors. Okay, so I have, probably turn it around this way, okay, looks better at this angle. So I have two sets, one I think I purchased, the first one this was this 12 color set and I loved it so much that I went and actually decided to buy a bigger set which I will come to in a second. So this is what they look like. You'd be surprised that I've used the black the most, um, but that was for my fashion illustration that I did 
quite a few years ago. So, the colors you get here, they're actually disorganized and I probably should have organized them, but I'm just going to zoom them in. My big set of the 72 colors that I will show you in a second is completely organized. It's um, a painful procedure of organizing them all, but there you go. So, this one is ink black. Why is it not? Here we go. Leaf green, tangerine, sand yellow, apple green, dip indigo, teal green, uh, fuchsia. Is it fuchsia or fuchsia? I'm not sure. Sea blue, poppy red, baked earth, and bark. Okay? So that's what you get in the small one. Now, um, I will just use these as a backup for my big set. That's a big box as you can see, 72 colors. Very exciting, yay! So I'm not going to go through all of the color pencils right now with you. I do have swatches which I will show you in a second. The color went a bit weird now, is that because of the darkness? Anyway, so that's what you get. It, it comes in two layers because obviously a lot of them. So these are the pencils. Gorgeous, gorgeous. As you can see you have loads of greens. Um, plenty of browns. Blues, reds and yellows. And quite a few oranges which could be doubled as yellows. Okay, so let me close this up and show you the swatches. Now, when I started making the swatches, I have made a mistake by using too much water, okay? And they didn't come out as intense. So as you can see, they're a lot more intense than this um, sketch here compared to, to these swatches. So, I will also quickly show you the Derwent watercolor pencil. So this is the 24, which I mentioned in my previous video. Again, as a quick comparison, I hope you can see that actually these are more intense. And you will see in the later pages where I start using less water, the colors become more intense. So, here we have the yellows the oranges and the reds, going into pinks, purples and blues. Now here again using too much water you can see that you can still see the pencil markings. This is not the way to use the um, ink tans pencils I found. I find the best way to use them is use them as a pencil and color in like I did if we just go back quickly here color in every single bit that you want to color and use darker colors or where you want to create shadow lights where you just use it as you would use um, watercolor but do color in most of the parts because if you don't and you start using water, it won't be as intense. Well, you can do if you don't want too intense, uh, but the intensity is what I like about these um, ink, water soluble ink pencils. So, to, to get this effect, you need to use minimal water and maximum pencil. And the, the water helps to soften the pencil marks and sort of create a more creamy texture and then just uh, make them sort of melt together a little bit more. So let's go back to the swatches. These are obviously very beautiful colors over here. You can see how much more intensive, intense they get. Now this is a fun color. It's called apple green. It's a very very juicy um, bright green color. Fan is one of my favorite greens and yeah here we have the browns and to finish off here are the 
grays and the blacks. Indian ink, Chinese ink, charcoal gray, paints gray, natural gray, ink, black. Then we get the antique white, which you can't see because it's white. And this final one is called outliner. I'm slightly confused about it. It doesn't appear to be just a pencil because otherwise it would I don't think be there it's supposed to be a water soluble but having used a bit of water I can could hardly get it to move so I'm not entirely sure I might not be using it correctly um, so these are the swatches and basically what I wanted um, to show with this video is that if you like the idea of a pencil but want more intensity and more payoff of the pigment than you get from watercolor pencils, then these would be a great choice. I really enjoyed using them and they're probably my favorite kind of a pencil um, purely because of the color I can get. and. Again, this is just comparing them to the watercolor pencils. Maybe if you compare it to the where I use less water, you will see that they're more brighter. Or oh, they're more bright. Not more brighter. <laughs> Alright then. Thank you for watching the video and I hope it was helpful and um yeah thanks for watching see you soon bye bye